hello guys welcome to my channel today in this video i'm going to show you how to fix error that is 0xc 000007b or msvcp140.dll or vc runtime 140.dll so if you are receiving one of these error message while launching dying light game on your computer then please follow the step shown in this video now the first step is to go to this path the path is provided in the video description so open file explorer then go to this PC, open C drive, then open program files x86 folder, then open the Steam folder, and then open Steam apps folder, then open the common folder, and then open Steam works shared folder, open the common redist folder, then open VC redist folder. And then whatever file uh, folder you see, you might see 2010, 12, 13 and 15. In my case, I have only two folder. So open all the folder one by one. So open first folder. Then you have to go ahead and run this VC Redis x64 version. So make a right click, then click on run as administrator, then click on yes to allow. And then agree to the terms, then click on install. Once done, close this window. Run the second file, Redis x86 version, make a right click, then click on run as administrator, then click on yes to allow. Agree to the terms, then click on install, close this window. Go back and then open the second folder. And if you have x86 and x64 in the second folder, so go ahead and run this Redis file, both x64 and x86 from all the folder, if you have those files. Now, once that is done, go ahead and restart your computer and then try to launch the game. Now, still you are facing the problem, then go ahead and go to this path. So, go back in the same path, go back and open DirectX 12, DirectX folder and then open June 2010 folder. Scroll down and here you will see DX setup so make a right click on dx setup exe file then click on run as administrator then click on yes to allow accept then next next and let the installation complete Now click on finish and then go ahead and restart your computer. Go to the start menu, then cl click on the power icon, then click on restart and then try to launch the game. Now still you are facing the problem, then go to this uh, folder. So go, go to the game installation folder where the game is installed. It might be under this path or you might find the game folder in this path. Or if you have installed the game in maybe external hard drive or any other hard drive. So wherever the game is installed, go to that location. So in my case, I've installed the game in D drive. So go to the installation folder, then open the dying light folder and then open the reddish folder and then make a right click on VC Redis x64, then click on run as administrator, then click on yes to allow. Click on uh, by default repair will be checked, click on next. Once the, click on finish, then run the second file, x64. So whatever uh, file you have, x64 uh, or x86, just make sure that you make a right click, then run as administrator. Click on repair or install, whatever you see. Then close this, go to DirectX folder, open this folder, and then run this DirectX web setup. Make a right click, then click on run as administrator, then click on yes to allow. Accept the terms next and let this complete. Click on, click on finish and then 
restart your computer and then try to launch the game. Now still you are facing the problem then install Visual Studio files from Microsoft website. So copy this link. This link is also provided in the video description. Go to Microsoft website. Scroll down and here you can see Visual Studio 2015, 17 and 19. So you have to go ahead and download and install both the files that is x86 and x64. So install both the file, click on the exe file and download the exe file. Now also install the x64 version. And once the download is complete, run the exe file, click on run, click on repair or install whatever you see, click on yes to allow and run the second file as well. Click on run, repair or install whatever you see. And once done, do not restart the computer. You might see the restart option over here. Do not restart. Click on close. Do not restart. Click on close. Scroll down and th then you have to install Studio 2013 as well. Click on this link. It will take you to the next page. Scroll down and here you can see VC Redis X64. This is X64 and if you scroll down here, you can find X86. So you have to install both, both of them. So select English United States. Click on this link. And then scroll down and then you have you also have to install x86 english united states click on this link then run the exe file click on run click on repair or install click on yes close this run the second file click on run click on repair or install click on yes to allow and then close this do not restart your computer now now install visual studio 2012 click on this link it will take you to the next page. Then again, you have to install both the version x86 and x64. You might have to log into your Microsoft account. So select x64 and then click on download, then select x86, then click on download. And after the download, run the exe file, install it, then go to the start menu and then, then click on the power icon. Click on restart and then try to launch the game. Now still you are facing the problem, then verify the integrity of Dying Light game files in Steam. So open Steam. Make a right click on Dying Light game in, in your Steam library, then select properties, then go to local files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files and then you can go ahead and try to launch the game. So one of the steps should help you to get rid of these error with Dying Light game on your computer. So that will be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.